What's up guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to Freedom Algo. Today we are going to be looking at the Freedom Linear Regression Price Action Indicator and the Visible Range Volume Profile. Whoops, sorry about that weird sound. Okay, now, a couple of things. We are, this, this strategy is not going to use the Linear Regression Trend Channel, okay? So it's only using these other lines. And what I did was I turned off the signal line and I left everything else default. Okay. And I'm going to use Heikenashi. And I'm going to change the VRVP. I like to use a 200 row size on this. And then what I also like to do is change this to green and this to red, and this to green, and this to red. And then I like to make my point of control a white line. And I like to have my value area high and low. Thinner line on those, okay? And dotted. Just to, this, this makes it easier for me personally to see what is going on. And that's why I do it like that. So let's take a look. What is this strategy, right? So. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. So as you zoom in, this is going to change. And we have these dotted lines are our value area high, value area low. So that means we're trading within that range. The white is the point of control. That is the area where uh, the most volume is coming in. But there's a lot of volume right here too. You can see by this bar, it's almost as long as the bar that has the point of control. So what you're going to look at doing is taking shorts off of the point of control when you get a cross down on linear regression. So essentially, that's an entry right there where it crossed down. Um, okay, and when you're going the other way, if you get a cross up on the point of control, you can take a long here. So right there, that's a long entry. It's going to be a small one, but that's a long. And that is the main way that you're going to look at trading this. You're going to be using essentially the point of control as a point of support and resistance to go long and short off of, but also, you're going to use the value area high and low for those uh, for those as well. So if you take a short, so you touch the value area high, you can take a short here, but just know that you might bounce off the point of control. So the idea is that as you're trading this and you're you're at this point, you get the cross, you get your entry, right? Because you're entering after this candle, so you're getting an entry on there. Get your stop loss probably right above those recent swings. Now what you're going to do is soon as you get around this point of control scalp a little bit of profit move your stop loss to break even and then leave a runner boom ride it down until you get another cross up so this runner you'd be in until right there on that candle you'd exit because you're starting to get a cross up so that would have been a nice winning trade with a scalp and run okay now on here uh you don't get anything down here because you're not getting far enough down so you're still looking at shorts you, you would wait till here and you'd get another cross and you would take that short, All right? So you'd get in on this candle, recent swings. Uh, the reason I have the purple on here is that's another um, option for that ATR for take profit areas when you don't have a, a better target. So for example, for this one, you go right through that purple right there. I would probably just exit a portion of my trade there, move my stop loss and then stay in it. And you actually do end up staying in this one and you get a runner and you would actually be in nice profit now with more of a runner and you could actually be taking that one down. So pretty easy. Now let's scroll back a little further and see if we could have played these moves. Now it's gonna look kind of weird because of where this is. Uh, let me see if I can actually just maybe move this to the other side of the screen. Uh, where are we at? Developing, can I move this to the other side? Actually not sure if you can uh, move it to the other side. I kind of want to move it to the left side of the screen i could have sworn that 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 was a thing but oh there it is idiot okay so here we go i just wanted to do that to make it easier to see so if you were trading this in real time and this is what you saw right point of control is down here now as you're going this way you're getting across there right the point of control is moving a little bit so now, upon this type of trade here, where you get this big cross down and then you get a cross up, you don't quite make it there, but you get your signal. You can take longs in positions like this, right? 
So that's the, you'd probably place it somewhere around there. You get into this trade. Now, when you get into a trade where you're using this, you can use the point of control as sort of your stop loss. Like I'm going to keep my stop loss right below that. And you can ride this thing all the way up. Again, you could take a little profit there. Move your stop loss, ride it up. And you could exit when it starts to cross down. So when you start flattening out here and you cross down, that's one way that you could have taken that trade. Um, over here, let's just scroll back a little bit. Similarly over here, the point of the value area high was actually up here and you break above it, but then you start seeing a cross down forming right there, right? So this is actually right before that move that we were just looking at. So you could plot a short and that would have been a decent short. Uh, it wouldn't have been huge, right? Wouldn't have been huge. You could trail the ATR as it goes down. You could, you know, obviously take that. And then you would have gotten a decent a, a decent little scalp right before that long. So that's another way that you could ride this. So I'm just going to scroll back, see if there's anything else that kind of stands out. Uh, let, let's just zoom way back so that I'm not cherry picking anything. All right. Here we go. So uh, here is an example. So we're trading sideways. Here's the value area low, value area high. You just come off that. That might have been a good short opportunity, but I'm just looking at what's happening in real time. Let's say I had just logged in. So as I start scrolling over, boom, I see a cross happening. So I'm going to plot along right off of the point of control. Decent entry, nothing too huge. Recent swing is about right there. And you get a decent little profit there. You know, it's not nothing huge. It's a one point let's seven five or so uh risk reward on that but still you get a nice little trade out of that and then that's it uh you see it cross down and you're out of that trade it doesn't matter um and then look right after this right after that trade you're coming over again now you break this one is interesting because you're breaking above right here you just you just broke below the point of control and you're breaking above and point of control is not going to bounce you back and forth. it's not going to bounce you right off of it a lot of time. It's going to give you opportunities for entries though. And so right here, you get another long, possibly right there, maybe to ride it just right up to the purple as your target. And you get it. You get a long right there. It works out. It's fine. Now, over here, you start getting to that value area high. And now that is looking like you've got some resistance shaping up. You're bouncing off that value area high. Looks like you got a, an area forming. So I'm going to plot a short over there because you're getting that cross down. So you get your short. Boom. Ride this thing off to the races, baby. Ride that thing all the way down. So this is pretty much it. It's a simple strategy, but it's how you can use this in real time as things are developing. Because the thing is with, the, with this uh, VRVP, it's going to keep adjusting as the chart moves. So as you're moving in real time, you'll see this, these levels constantly moving. Uh, and you can see it there. You can see the point. Of it, it, that's how it works. But you can see where you're trading off of the highest volume and where you're likely to get some reactions. And then you can use the linear regression indicator to your advantage to take the entries and the hike and Ashi helps smooth it out. So hopefully this helps. And, uh, I will talk to you soon.